Nas is back once again. Now, to celebrate his new partnership with Masterclass, Nas King Nas is giving us, his fans and everybody else, the masses, some new music produced by, of course, his favorite producer right now, Flavor of the Month or Flavor of the Last Year, Hit Boy. On this track right here, Nas is basically showing us why we all fell in love with Nas or, you know, some of us never fell out of love with Nas. Me personally, Nas has had an up and down career as of late, but I mean, this track right here really brings the heat. Nas shares words of wisdom from his legendary career while he's still reminding us that he's one of the greatest to ever do it. Now, when I first heard this song, this song was basically unexpected, had no idea, just so happened to, you know, check a couple of things and saw that like, pow, out of nowhere, Nas had a new track called Big Nas produced by Hit Boy. This song right here, now if you check my, 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 my channel out, I did a King Disease 1 and King Disease 2 review a year ago for King Disease 1 and most recently for King Disease 2 about two months ago. This song right here, Big Nas, is probably one of the best songs that I've literally heard from Nas over the last couple years. To me, this song should have been included on either King Disease 1 or it definitely should have been included on King Disease 2. And I'm not taking anything away from King Disease 2 because I did feel that, you know, King Disease 1 was, uh, it was all right, it was okay. Then I thought King Disease 2 was a, was a better effort, you know, it was still okay. So if Nas would have included this song, Big Nas, on King Disease 2, this would have clearly, next to the Lauryn Hill track, nobody this would have clearly been the best song on the album. Why Nas decided not to include it and keep this raw song in the stash, I have no idea. I don't understand why Nas does that. Nas and a lot of other artists do it too. They tend to keep some of their best, even Kanye West has recently done this on his Donda album with the track with Andre 3000, but a lot of artists tend to keep some of their dopest, most most best material in the stash, and they use it as throwaway tracks, whether it be on soundtracks or just having it, you know, in this case, be leaked out for promotional reasons for a collaboration that Nas is doing, a partnership he's doing with Masterclass, which I think is insane because I think your best work should go on your album. Some of the lines in here that I gravitated to, I mean, Nas sets the song off lovely. Nas says in verse one, a man reproduces himself through his child. So when he leave here, he can just smile. But I see fit to stay here a while. Maybe buy a timeshare somewhere, rock boneware, beach chair, write a book each year. I mean, come on. I mean, Nas just, to me, he sets it off visually and lovely. He had a couple other standout lines in this song as well. Imagine another rapper making me perspire. I got more styles and more flows, plus I'm much flyer. The beat is very, very mellow, very, and I hate using this word, but it's a, it's a soulful. <laughs> I do not like that word because everybody, when they review a hip hop album or hip hop track and it has like a nice track that reminds you like an introspective track or a reminiscent type of track. Everybody uses that word soulful, but I'm just going to say the beat is a perfectly laced beat from Hit Boy. I've been, you know, criticizing Hit Boy over the last year from some of the production he's gave in the Nas, you know, we, that's a whole nother topic. But this beat right here is lovely. I love this track. This is one of the best tracks that Nas has rhymed over out of all of the Hit Boys joints that he did. I love it. On the song, Nas also gives a shout out to his kids and the late great DMX. He says, my daughter's a businesswoman. I'm so proud of her. My son, he's almost 12 and he's so knowledgeable. Then he gives a shout out to X by saying, wish I could bring back X. You know, we all wish we, he could bring back X now. This is a very dope track. Now, Masterclass Nas will be launching his first ever Masterclass on the essence of hip hop storytelling. This will be a 12 video class, including courses uh, such as writing original uh, rap songs and recording an original rap song. So, you know, Nas is going to be basically, you know, putting on a class. You know, Nas says that Masterclass is a great thing for people trying to get the inside scoop on what's going on with artists, producers, actors, and people. And, you know, he told Complex Magazine that. So, yeah, I mean, listen. I love this song right here. 
I think this song should have definitely been included on his his album. I mean, this song is pretty amazing. This right here is a five mic song. If I'm rating this song from one to five, if we're doing a Source magazine, one through five, this is a five mic song. This is a classic song. Nas has proven me once again that whenever he wants, he can come out with a, a, a classic track like this one. Love this song, Big Nas. My favorite song right now. This is AP. Subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace. I will check y'all later. Blessings and also one love.